So, why don't I eat meat? Well, it's not because of religion, and it's not because my parents forced me. I was raised not eating meat, and have grown up to think and choose for myself. In the end, I just don't feel that eating animals is the right thing to do. I would like to take this opportunity to explain my thinking. At school, I learned that many cultures, including Japan's, were once mostly vegetarian. When I learned about Japanese dietary history, I learned that even the emperor rarely ate meat. As animals were useful in everyday life, people could not afford to kill them just for meat. Even today, Organic farmers use animals to grow vegetables without the need of harmful chemicals. For example, they let the chickens wander the fields to eat the bugs that would normally eat the crops, all the while dropping fertilizer around the field which helps the plants grow. Furthermore, chickens also produce eggs which can be eaten or sold. Isn't using chickens as farm workers in this way more useful than just uh, than breeding them only to be deep fried and put in a KFC bucket? Now, I know many of you are thinking, but I like the taste of meat, right? Just imagine if the shoe were on the other foot and animals were the ones who ruled the world. Scary, right? Luckily for us, most animals are vegetarians and would be more interested in raising cabbage than children for food. If the carnivores, the lions and tigers were the ones who set the menu, we might be in danger of becoming the favorite protein in restaurants. As I mentioned, I am not completely vegetarian because I do eat fish. To be perfectly honest, I don't feel that comfortable eating fish either. But unless I'm happy just eating a bowl of rice or a salad whenever I eat out in Japan, there is no choice. I have hope for the future, and I feel that attitudes are shifting. The meat industry's effect on health and the environment is in the news more regularly. Restaurants in Japan also seem more familiar with requests for non-meat meals, so it's becoming easier for me to eat out. Throughout history, there have been many great people who have chosen to be vegetarians. The Greek philosopher Socrates encouraged people to think deeply about life. It's interesting to me that he was also a vegetarian. He said, Thou should eat to live, not live to eat. I agree. We should think more carefully about the food we eat to make sure it's what we need what to make sure it's what we need for the health of our bodies, a peaceful society, and a sustainable planet. Growing up vegetarian has worried some of my teachers about my dietary balance, but not eating meat has certainly not limited me in any way from growing taller and living a healthy and happy life. Thank you for listening.